the open doors for bands like the Go-Go's and the Pretenders, you know, Pat Benatar, because they weren't there before the Runaways, and now they are. Yeah. And it just makes logical sense to me. I could be wrong, but I also could be right. How did you find the song, I Love Rock and Roll? I found I Love Rock and Roll in 1976, first time the Runaways toured England. They had a TV show on. It was on, like, the Monkees or something. It was, like, the, an equivalent to that, it seemed. And they were doing this song called I Love Rock and Roll, and I thought, that's a great song. And I went out and I bought it in one of the record stores while I was in England and brought it back to America with me. And the Runaways, we tried to do it a couple of times. But it, we never got it rehearsed, or there was always a reason why we didn't do it. Never recorded it, and then I did it with Steve Jones and Paul Cook, which it was played for American record companies in which they turned it down. And then we did it with the Black Arts and um, on all of rock and roll. And, and they still turned it down, I think. Yeah. No, by then we were on a label, but, you know, it, they still heard the song that was, became the anthem, you know. And they turned it down, and it was all because my dad decided we've got to get an all-girl band together. I've got to get an all-girl band together. You've got a very tough, aggressive image. I don't feel very scared here talking to you. Is that, is that what Jones really like? I'm like just what I'm like right now, except I'm, I'm nervous because this was, I mean, this is like my hometown. My family lives here and stuff, and, and I got to go on stage in front of all these people I haven't seen for two years. When I left, you know, as that's like a triumphant return, so I got to be good tonight. It sure is. Well, this show sold out in less than two hours. It sold out in a half hour. <laughs> I have Sorry. To that in. <laughs> uh, I expected to see mostly guys at the concert here, but coming in, I saw a lot of uh, females. Does that surprise you? It did at first, you know, because I was used to uh, the, an all male audience, especially with the Runaways. It was more not like 99% male, uh, except for when we went to Japan, where it was at least 50% female, which surprised me then. But now these girls, they're ready to rock and they're not scared. It's like, they want to go party too, and they're having a good time, and they're out there louder than their boyfriends or louder than the guys a lot of times. You listen to them in between the songs, and they're the ones screaming. What about an Australian tour? Any plans? Oh, yes, definitely. Do you know approximately when? I have no idea, but it will be, I would figure it will be this year. Do you, have any, do you have any preconceived ideas about what Australia is like? Do you have any expectations? Just the normal, I guess, American thing with kangaroos and koala bears, but I know that there's, I've seen movies made in Australia, so I also know that many big cities. So, um, you know, I, I don't really know what Australia is like, but I'm looking forward, really looking forward to go, to going because I know people that have gone for the bands and they said it's a great family.